this is uh, my design. Um, I actually partnered. I, I originally prototyped it in plastic, uh, my 3D printer. Um, but I partnered with Charles, uh, who makes uh, uh, wooden custom. Well, not custom. A wooden. Uh, um, he hates it when I say cut comb, so I'll cut the uncut comb boxes. Uh, a great box system that uh, um, it's made for comb honey uh, that you can put in the hive. Uh, they can fill it out, uh, and then when you take it apart, uh, they can be put right in the box. It is a box. It is the box that uh, they use. But um, so I like to design in that. Um, so I got a hold of them uh, because, as we know, wood's always better. Um, and I took my design to him. Uh, we talked about a lot of things. He offered some great suggestions for improvement. Uh, looked at a couple of prototypes. I offered some suggestions for improvement on that. Um, and, uh, you know, we had some criteria. One, we wanted it small. So this is a mini made in Nuke. Uh, we wanted ventilation, as you see. There is ventilation all the way around. Uh, we wanted four of these to be able to fit inside a deep. Um, in case for some reasons, um, I wanted that uh, for some situations, but so they could all four fit inside a deep. Um, wanted to be able to feed, but we also wanted to not ha ha necessarily have to have the feed. And most importantly, we wanted it to be collapsible. So when you're done using it for the season, if you're someone like me who doesn't have all the storage space in the world, yet you're wanting to expand and kind of grow your system you could have start getting into raising queens and uh, you either not have to destroy other equipment to repurpose it or buy mini mating nukes that you didn't have to store so first of all I'll kind of show you here so we do want to feed comes off top feeder goes on there if you don't want a feeder still close it up and if you notice the lid kind of pops up here you can kind of hear that so you don't necessarily have to put it down but if you want to tighten it down if you notice hold there hold there you could run a rubber band twist tie actually I recommend twist tie for up top you notice on the sides which is also kind of important notice the hold you zip tie so this is a completely modular collapsible system this comes off and you got the frames inside uh, again uh, prototype we originally designed it all the frames were like this one um, then we started thinking well if we are going to feed we need to give them some passageways up top um, I've been playing with the design of it um, generally you'll have these two here then two then sorry one with um, one solid and then over here I actually would have two solid and, and this one would go on the outside All right, sorry but anyways it was designed for two passageways up top I've been playing around and, and switched these two around instead of that one here giving that other passageway um, there's a room at the bottom of the frames to pass through so those passageways are just to get up to feet let me pull a frame let me pull one that doesn't have any foundation here this is one without foundation I haven't put it in yet and if you notice it's all together clip all four sides together and all you have to do to undo a frame and you can see it's hooked together I'll pop into this one out here a little bit pops out and then pop it back together right and that's actually how you get your foundation in so let me grab one here with foundation. So this one here, I used a piece of wax foundation I had. Actually, this time I, I had some wax that had the wire in it. It doesn't have to have wire. It could be uh, could be non-wired foundation. could be plastic foundation. Uh, let me find another one. That one was one I was still practicing on, um, trying to cut because uh, it was an oversized piece. Um, this one's a little bit done a little bit better so we'll work with this one you notice I, you do have to cut out the corners because you do we do have a stop 
you know, kind of a break there. Um, as you can, this was a little bit thicker foundation, so you squeeze, had to squeeze it in and work with it. So you can see that it will pass straight through. And here I just cut them off at the top. All right, and then let me show you one other one where I was playing around with the wire. Um, you can see here, I left a little bit of wire on, poking through, and then I can uh, crease that over. Um, probably the very first attempt and ugliest one of the bunch is this one. Um, there's still some paper on there. Um, couldn't get to come off this piece. See, I cut it a little bit wrong. Didn't completely fit to that side. Didn't get in there, but since I had the wire, I just went ahead and used the wire to hold it in. The beetle filled that in. Um, again, those are there for just kind of for plastic foundation. Let me show you the inside a little bit better. Sorry, some my lighting. If you look at the inside, you do can see that there is room in the bottom, right? And this is just another bottom piece I had in there to kind of show what those look like. If you're looking, uh, there's room at the bottom. They can pass under, uh, so you did have to put the one up. And I did put this piece of foundation in here because some people will actually just slide, think of the bottom side here, a little bit of foundation into the starter strip. You can see it kind of sticks in there already. It's not real hard to get through, so you'd actually put their starter strip and drop it in a, a hive and let it be built out. On the front, I uh, wanted to add a few things here. So you can see, you can turn this, have your opening for fully open, uh, ventilation, and clean exclude. So you got all, all three options. And so you would put your uh, queen into mate, right? And uh, you can put your queen into mate. And a little trouble focusing there, sorry guys. There you go. So once you put the queen into mate, um, these would be drawn out, right? You'd have, I have to just put about a cup, a single cup full of bees in there. And after you have your cup full of bees, you can go ahead and close her back up by dropping your frames in. If you do notice, the frames are spaced. You have a spacer along the top. Um, so you do that to kind of drop your frames in. Like I said, do make sure that you put two frames together to make a, a passageway. And next I would, uh, you know, you do how it was originally designed here. The next one... solid and then actually I do like to switch it up a little bit and kind of make it the opposite it's kind of what I played with and found probably works the best slide those down make sure they down in there and you'll have passageway up to your feed and again uh, so if, when you get this this comes in one two three four five and bottom six panels um, you can see the notches there for lining things up so you just put the panels together either zip tie uh, recommend zip tie uh, can use a bread tie can also use a rubber band there's little notches to use rubber bands. Actually, I can show the rubber band notch very easy. So that's how you do it with a rubber band. That would hold the rubber band. Then uh, once it's all back together, once you put it together, now for the side, you definitely do uh, want to go ahead and zip tie or rubber band or actually use the um, bread ties. But for the tops, just kind of, you can line that up, make sure you get alignment on, on two of the corners there. Oops, see, I kind of messed up there. Once you get the alignment on the two of the corners, you can hear, like I said before, it kind of snapped in. Of course, when I go to do it, 
not as easy as it sounds, right? There you go, get it snapped in. Just hold one side down after it snaps in. Get your other corners. And... Hold on, there you go. So, sorry about that, I'm gonna... Try to do it. It, it, it's a two-handed job is basically what the problem comes down to. But there you go. You can see it kind of there. There, you heard a snap. Go there, there, I got it one-handed. Now it's on there good and tight. Bees won't be able to get out. Um, I really put other bees in. Uh, again, two-handed, pretty easy, but uh, then you could go through, like I said, you want to make sure down through the hole, out through there with a rubber band. Uh, or a bread tie, and you're all set. So that is my uh, mini mating of design that I partnered with Charles, the Big Pops Creations, to uh, um, I guess they say to perfect and partnered in uh, a product. Hopefully, you guys like it.